Here's what's happening. This is uh, Will from uh, Will Source One's channel on to another review. On this review, I'll be uh, doing a review on the uh, Playmates uh, from uh, you know, Star Trek. Uh, two items from it is one would be the uh, from uh, DS9, the Star Trek uh, Runabout, and uh, the second one would be from uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation, the uh, Klingon Attack Cruiser. Uh, I think it's the uh, Vorcha class cruiser. Uh, attack battle cruisers. I know it's like a real giant cruiser. It's probably like the, one of the largest ships that uh, that I remember or seen uh, from the uh, Star Trek universe. Actually, it's supposed to be the most feared. Off reading my Star Trek encyclopedia, it's supposed to be the most feared and most uh, massive and you know, uh, I guess kick ass of all the uh, Star Trek ships. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's a cool looking ship. Uh, I also seen it before on uh, DS9. On uh, quite a few episodes of there, uh, we get on to review of that. Actually, I was I really ran across these uh, from uh, really looking for a gift for a friend for uh, a Christmas present. I forgot to pick him up something, you know. He had got me something, so he always wanted this bus statue that I had uh, there. So I got it out of stores, gave it to him. He's happy and ecstatic. I'm happy and tired. So, uh, but I had a great Christmas. Got some good. Great goodies, you know, hey, I'm happy how things went. It's like every year, Christmas, as I'm getting older, which is crazy, crazy. Uh, it's getting better. But, uh, hey, had a great time, had a lot of friends over. You know, uh, I upgraded my uh, Blu-ray player. You know, it's really, man, state-art one now. So it was really cool, had a great time. Um, anyway, hey, you can also follow me along on uh, Facebook. A lot of guys here on YouTube and Satchel Freaks, uh, they're on it, I'm linked with them. We have a great time sharing pictures and, you know, conversation. Hey, just uh, hit me up on it. Uh, I said, Will Source World, easy to find. Uh, and uh, I guess you go through my link and you'll probably find a lot of the guys that, that you see on uh, on these uh, videos here. But anyway, hey, that's about it, though. Hey, I know uh, New Year's is uh, in a couple of days. We're just around the corner. Hope you guys are taking it easy with the drinking thing. Hey, uh, you know, uh, take it easy with the drinking and driving. Well, don't drink and drive, actually. Um, you know, kind of stay at their, you know, friend's house and try to, you know, you know, maybe spend the night there, drink it off, or have someone to drive you home. Uh, here in the U.S., you know, a lot of our states, we don't play around with the drinking and driving thing, so don't mess up uh, your license and, I'll, you know, get yourself like a lot of static later on from, you know, getting called by the cops because, you know, they're going to be out heavy on these, uh, this holiday week. Yeah, so. Well, anyway, hey, uh, hope you guys, I got what y'all wanted for Christmas, had a great Christmas this year. Uh, you know, take it easy on your New Year's, have a great time also, and I'll be uh, checking you guys out later. So, hey, y'all, peace, and I'll be, you know, hitting y'all up on the uh, next video, okay? All right, enjoy. Hey, guys, on to uh, another Star Trek review. On this one, we have the... Uh, uh, Star Trek uh, Deep Space Nine uh, Runabout uh, Iron Rico. Uh, a runabout is basically like the old school uh, shuttlecrafts. Uh, I thought it was pretty sleek design. It's nice. Um, uh, this one right here is a little different. This is more like the uh, action figure uh, version of the runabout. Uh, I can't actually think, actually, if there was another one made with sound effects. Oh, well, this one has sound effects also, but I can't, I, what I'm trying to say, I don't know if there's another one made, uh, more like how the other ones are, uh, more the display type, like, um, like the one I just said, showed you recently, the, the Klingon attack cruiser, and like some of the other ones I have. Uh, but, uh, I think this is the only one that was made by Playmates. Uh, but anyway, getting on to review, uh, the sound effects, That's more of the, I guess, a powering up and sales, you know, uh, in flight type sound. And I guess more of the uh, phaser sound. Okay, like I mentioned before, this one right here is basically for uh, action figures. Uh, has a button right here that pulls off the, uh, I guess, the front nose. I just see up in here, then the uh, figure's going there. Actually, another strange thing, even in the back, it has uh, a space for another action figure. Uh, so I guess it's more of a, a toy. It also had like, these wheels up under, so I guess it's 
meant more so as a, a toy for kids. Okay, I'll give you a closer view of it. Okay, guys, yeah, so on to a review of a closer view of the shuttlecraft. Well, sorry, runabout. I kind of prop this up a little bit. It's kind of hard to, uh, to hold it up in to show you what I'm trying to show you. I see it's pretty cool. Nice little seat up in it. It also has a, a control panel, which is pretty smooth looking. Seat belt for your action figure. So I'm, I feel like I'm doing a toy review. Um, this actually swings out. Okay. Uh, so you put your action figure in, and then this right here moves out of the way. But you sort of get the idea. This is actually a real cool logo. Same thing, you know, the uh, has the uh, place on stickers. I guess this one's protruding out a little. Uh, and I don't, I don't even remember buying this, guys. To be honest with you, um, that's when I was on my uh, one of my Star Trek buying sprees when I was just getting anything and everything on Star Trek. Has some real nice detail on it for uh, more of a kids' play toy. Uh, you know, do the buttons. And also, uh, I'll show you the back. Oh, it doesn't have like the, uh, Control panels like how the uh, the front head, uh, still nice detail on it. Actually, when I, for, I think when I first bought, bought this, I didn't, I didn't, I kind of vaguely remember that it, I didn't, I, I thought it was more so like the other ones, uh, more of a display model, more so than an action figure uh, type ship. So I, I kind of vaguely remember when I got this. Uh, it was one out the box. I guess some kids they must have took it out, and it, I went on to get it because the, of the detail of it. Okay, show the uh, underside. Okay, guys, yeah, this is underside. As you can see, it has uh, wheels. So this led me to believe this is more of a, a kids, uh, you know, play toy. Uh, the button right here that's to open up the hatch up under for the front action figure. I bought the figures for it, um, but I never put them in. Uh, this right here is uh, it's kind of funny. You have to put a, a coin or something in it to prop up the uh, battery compartment. Okay, guys, and uh, there you have it. Uh, the uh, Star Trek D Space Nan uh, runabout, the Armico. Hope you enjoyed the review. Be uh, talking with you guys later. Peace. Oh, another good thing I wanted to show you guys. Uh, it also comes with you know blueprints and diagrams. Um, on this one, certificate of authenticity. Uh, why would you want this for a child's uh, play toy? I wouldn't, I wouldn't even understand. But anyway, gives you that. Tell you about playmates. Uh, more of an idiot blueprints show you how to put in batteries and what action figures go. Playmates logo. And the uh, blueprint sheet, which is, I feel, the only good thing that they give you in here. Gives you, uh, tells you what everything and every unit. Of the ship, it well, not maybe every unit, but at least the main parts of the runabout. Okay, hey, just wanted to show you that, guys, in case you wanted to get one. Tell you like the per se goodies it comes with. Yuck, yuck.